Hi everyone, you all are welcome. In today's video, we will do a 10th grade geometry problem which is moderate and interesting. So in this diagram, we are given a circle whose center is O and angle AOC is 60 degree. DB and DC are tangents which touches the circle at point B and at point C respectively. L is the length of uh, DC tangent. Angle AOC given as 60 degree. OC is R and AB is diameter and length of AB is twice the radius. So 2R. AC is given as D. We have to find the length L in terms of D. This is diameter. This is tangent. Tangent touches diameter at B. So therefore this angle will be 90 degree as the diameter and tangent at the point of contact will be perpendicular. And similarly this is 90 given. So this is 90. So we have joined CB. This angle is 60 and these two are equal. OA is equal to OC radius. This is R. So this will also be R. And this OB will also be R. AB is 2R. So this is an isosceles triangle and this angle is 60 degree. So if any one angle of isosceles is 60, then that triangle will be an equilateral triangle. So all will be 60, 60, all sides equal. So this is equal to this is equal to this. All are equal, equilateral triangle. So R is equal to D. So we found R is equal to D. AB is diameter, diameter subtends right angle. This angle is 90. So this is 90. And this is 60. So this remaining angle will be 30 degree. Since this OC is equal to OA, it means this angle will also be 30 degree. This is 90. This is 30. So this angle will be 60 degree. This is 30. This angle is given as 90. So this remaining will be 60 degree. So this is 60. This is 60. So these two will be equal. And we can say that 60, 60 and this will also be 60 degree. Equilateral triangle once again. These two sides are equal 60, 60 and the remaining will be 180 minus sum of these two 60 degree. So this length L is equal to this DB is equal to BC all will be equal. So this is since this is L so this will also be L. Now we can use Pythagoras theorem. So this is hypotenuse and these two are legs of the, the right triangle. So we can say that AB square is equal to AC square plus CB square. AB is 2R. R is D. So we can substitute R as D. So 2R means 2D the whole square is equal to AC is D and CB is to be found that is L. So L square is equal to 4D square minus d square and that is 3d square so l is equal to square root of 3d square so d root 3 in terms of d length l will be d root 3 and that is the answer